What is going on, you lot? Midi here. I know that you guys love the sweaty games, right? The intense games are always the best, kind of like the last one that I posted. I know that you guys really enjoy them and you just, you know, don't know what's going to happen in them. With this Playbringer game, we go against a really good team. And even though Playbringer has been my main for a very long time, and I hate to say it, I do prefer using Bill a lot more. But I know there's a few of you out there that are Playbringer mains. So, oh, you know, I'm always going to be doing a lot of videos with her. Off topic, but the state of the game at the minute, I'm really hoping they bring out an update soon. I mean, the devs don't really say anything. There's not really an update we're kind of left in the dark for i mean a good few months at least i really wish they would sort of update things maybe make buff changes and nerf changes just to keep the game a little bit more unique i don't know what they've done with pablo they've done like a rework on him i'd love to see some reworks with a few characters maybe some buffs or changes just to keep the game a bit more refreshing but just in the back of my head i can imagine they're gonna bring out another survivor I could just see it. I know Brock was the latest one, but I'd love to see just something else pop up. Or even, this is a little idea I had, just having some sort of RNG aspect in the game. Like maybe the survivors or the demons can pick up some random orb in the game and it just does something. You get a temporary buff. Maybe you could just spawn in a unit that just runs at the survivors and blows up. I don't know. As for the Playboy build, I've not changed too much with this. I do actually put more points into the health of the elite. So if you ever get knocked onto the book stage, and I know a lot of you do, kind of got the elites there and having that 35% extra health. Having the points into this is absolutely huge. And then obviously because I've prestige her three times, I'm able to put the points in efficient evil basic, the elites and the boss, which I think is massive. Having that infernal energy required cost go down by 30%. This means you're actually able to just use their abilities a lot more. We do sacrifice a few points of the boss's damage and obviously put it into the health instead. She's obviously lost her mobility, so she can just get knocked down and absolutely destroyed very quickly. Although if I prestige, if I go up one more prestige level, then the next point's going to be going into grave illness just to max out the blight damage. Obviously keeping it with the basics, a bit of health for the elites, and then a little bit at the bottom. It's kind of a mixture really it's just a build that's going to help you for the early mid and late game you guys are going to really enjoy the gameplay as always make sure you guys leave a like on the video if there's a character that i've not done a video on in quite a long time and you'd like to see a new one let me know try and get some decent footage of it and you know hopefully texas chainsaws on its way soon so i can kind of switch between the two games which will be nice let's get into a game all right lads let's do it plague bringer i mean i don't really know who's my main at the minute is it plague bringer or is it billy boy Sure, battle feels really good in every scenario. I feel like I've got a slightly higher win rate with him Several than Playbringer. Of the map lie hidden well, Playbringer's got really good book game. You know, if it ever gets put onto book game, world, just with Plague, it's a little bit better. Who are we going against? We've got a Hunter Ash, Prestige 4, we got a Arthur, we got a Warrior Ash, Prestige 4, and we got a Cheryl. Kind of painful. I mean, Hunter Ash is going to be pain regardless. Arthur's going to be boosting the damage of Warrior Ash, and then you've got Cheryl as well. Which, obviously, one of the best supports. You can just heal for forever. I feel like you just don't have to waste as many shemps if you're playing a shovel. Now, we do have the big map, which favours the survivors a little bit. They can actually play a bit stealthy. What a lot of survivors will do is they'll try to be as sneaky as they can. They're going to try and rush the map pieces without having me actually engage them. I'm just trapping up, getting to free. First point goes into the portal. As soon as we hit free, portal's all right. This is a little bit lucky. I was actually going to dead end anyway to actually trap this out. It's normally an area I always go to. But they are here. And they've got quite a few cards. I can already see two in Ranger. Until we can do. Like I might have a bit of trouble with these. I'm going to move one of the cards. Obviously my car flipping game needs to be a little bit higher. I mean look we've got three cards in a proxy here. I'm going to be wasting a lot of time. I'm just going to ditch it here for a sec. I actually want to put pressure on them straight away. Hunter Rash is obviously dipped off there. I can see on the map. But I do want to focus these for a bit. Maybe waste some shemps. Obviously, when you know you're playing against more sweatier players, your playstyle has to change a little bit. Well, Hunter Rash isn't with them, so I might be able to do a bit of damage. So we can do it to Cheryl. So. Hey. <laughs> Cheryl? It's, it's Arthur. <laughs> I thought that was Cheryl. With his long permed hair. Oh, wait. That is funny. That is funny. Sorry, Arthur, but I truly thought you were Cheryl. That was a mistake. There we go. Get a Blight stack. It's going to be doing reduced damage. He shouldn't have too many pink F bottles here. He's going to be going into cutscenes here. Don't forget as well, Dead End's a really good area for that. You know, they can just keep dipping in and out. And it's a little bit painful to even get hits off. So I'm going to leave him for a sec. I've got no infernal energy here. I think a better target might actually be the Cheryl. Let's try not to get mixed up here. It's actually quite funny. As if I thought the bloody Arthur was Cheryl. I mean, look, look at the pictures in the corner. Look, they've got the, you know, the hair lips the same. It's, a, it's an easy mistake, all right? 
All right, let's try and see. Let's bully the warrior Ash. I feel like he might be doing a map piece. Maybe, or it's obviously Hunter Ash. His name is Don't Chase Me, so... I'm truly sorry. There we go. Get a point into possession there as soon as you hit six. Let's pop potion here. I'm not really going to be doing any damage. I just got big bones, boys! Hold on, boys! The name is memeable, isn't it? Like, don't chase me. I'm sorry, bro. You understand? I'm gonna need to do damage. Um, I'm, getting... <laughs> I'm getting hit over here. Oh, it's Wardy's team show was coming over. Yeah. Yeah. A blind stack there. Right, shows actually came over here. Come on. There you go. That's the ability. Lovely. Remember, you get a leech off the attacks here. You're not gonna get a lot of infernal energy. You're just going to get enough to hold the unit for a bit longer. I mean, look at this dude. He's just, they're, they're just looting while I'm attacking him. I don't care. Right, go for the pierce. They're going to dodge out. Yep. It's quite hard to land the uh, pierces on survivors who know how to dodge. Oh. Um, I don't want to talk about it, all right? That's even with Plague Winger, man. Missing the demonic dashes. Oh, mate. You got a lot of cars though, check map. Cars are gonna be in their favor here, so this game already is gonna be a lot harder. Which means they're gonna be all be able to maneuver around the map in cars, and by the time I break one, they get into another. Yeah, it's quite painful. They're all gonna take a car. Maybe I could have gone for the Hunter Ash. I just feel like sometimes the Hunter Ash could be painful to go for. Obviously, if you use his ability, he knocks you out. I don't know if I can actually catch up with the car though, no. This is sometimes why I like Bill. I can actually catch up with it. Okay, Arthur's slinging behind here, wait. I actually want to try and do damage with a car, you know. It's actually not too bad of a shout sometimes, but... Nope. Please. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's one. 20 more to go. No worries. I, mean, I don't want to spend all my time doing this. By the time I even get rid of five, they're probably going to start point. Are you going to know that these survivors, they can kind of just mess about in cars. This gives them the opportunity to actually split off and loot. But look, I've moved a lot of stuff here, so let's see if we can actually get some damage on him. Might be able to pin him upstairs with the cauldron, possibly. I don't look like it, man. Hold on, let's try. Wait. Oh. No. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, he's going to the log. He's going to the log. Not the log! Anything but the log. God damn it. I'm going to waste that infernal energy. Oh, mate, I can't. It's, it is really annoying. It's like he just sits up there. I think if you play a Necromancer or Puppet you can kind of knock him down from there. Otherwise, oh, it's just painful, man. It's just wasting time. If the other survivors are nearby, I'm just going to focus them instead. But there you got a member. This is going to be hard. Right now, the pressure is very minimal that I'm putting on them. Which already smells like a book game. Not even being able to touch them. I mean, look, they've got another car there as well. Jay, guess and go. Oh, oh man. What is this? Ridge Racer. Come. Well, you might as well be a racing game at this point. You know what I mean? You put this many cars in, let it be a racing game. Apart from I've got the slowest car. The demon speed. Jesus. Right, that's second map piece. It's not good. It is not going good so far. Take the car. I want to actually try and... Okay, that worked. I hope we got another car. Can't actually do anything there. Need to try and get rid of this if I can. Is this stuck? I don't know if that's actually stuck. Nope, can't do anything there. Try and bully the shell for a little bit if we can. These are the worst types of games because you see this whole sort of eight minutes have gone past. I've barely put any pressure on them. Go try and get some damage on her early. There you go, pinned in the corner, lovely. This is what you want. Oh no, okay, done too many spins there. And the Mr. Dash. Wow. Essentially, I just missed a three down there. That's the thing with the spins. You've got to kind of count how much infernal harder. energy you got. Because a lot of you out there, exactly like me, you're going to feel like Sonic for a minute. You're going to want to do all them spins and try and dish out the damage. But then you're left with like two infernal energy. You know, the unit drops. Your ball's up. Essentially, that's what I've done. 
Losing my focus a little bit. Like, she's just going to vault. Yep, it's a vault spot. I do feel like there needs to be a counter to sort of that. You know what I mean? Like, imagine if each one of these guys, they all go to a vault spot. You're not really doing much. I'm going to ditch him. They've got all map pieces here. Might do a split cap as well, which is going to be even worse. I want to try and deny this first point up here, though. Obviously, because it's the further one away. Whether it's the best shout or not, I don't know. Now, if they do a split cap here, we're going to be in big trouble. Depends if we can get the down on Arthur. I have hit 10. Not sure if it'd be a better call to pull out the boss first or the basics. Let's, let's see. Right. He's going to chase. He's going to leave me on a wild goose chase here. Okay. Right, first point goes into the boss there, as soon as we hit 10. Could have put a point into my possession there, but I feel like I'm going to need the boss. Just to dish out a bit of damage. Okay, still got Stammy. He's obviously gone into cutscene. Wow. Nice. Kind of messed up there. Oh, go to the trap. Go to the trap. There we go. Right, Cheryl's coming over now. So essentially, they've probably got point. Oh my god, come on. No! Oh, man! If only it was a little bit quicker there. All right, so the split cap's coming into play here. You've got Hunter Ash and Warrior Ash on one side. And then you've got these two. I don't know what's the better shout. Whether to try and waste the colas here or whether to go for them. But then I've got to travel all the way back down and I'm already here. Let's see what we can do with boss. Might be able to get down. Go. Go, go for the potions. If they're really good at dodging, we'll always try and go for the potions. Lots of survivors can't actually dodge them properly. Okay, we have come out of Cauldron Range here. Oh, wait. Nice. At least that landed. There we go. They're not doing too much damage here. Right, Elite comes into clutch there. Nice. That's the down. Come on, if we can just get the down on him right here. I don't think I can even drop this to get a jump scare. Wait, the fuck? I don't tell me he can revive her right behind there. I hope he can't. Hopefully she just bleeds out here. Nope. We don't. She in for the damage. Wait for it. She didn't go for Cauldron. Go for the pot. Alright. Oh, I'm going to the trap. Lovely. Wait. Wait. Keep off that body. Alright, Hunter Rash has kind of just ran a point here. There we go. Just holding this. Alright, she's died. We've gone up a few levels here. Get a few more points into the boss. Alright. I mean, this is all going to be for nothing, really. Warrior Ash is just solo capping. I just feel like I haven't got time to go all the way down there. I'm just so close. So close. Goes for the cola, yeah. And we're out of Infernal Energy. Oh, thank you. I'm actually going to drop her. Go for the possession here. Where are you, Arthur? No. No. Wait, come here. Yes. Come on. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, my God. It's like, it's just like so close. So close to going down. And then they just clutch it. Oh, man, that is painful. That is really painful. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get over to this point in time. His fear is really high. I might be able to get a jump scare it and throw him off point. I mean, look, 100 meters here. You see, in that whole scenario, let's say that I just completely left them and I went all the way down to this point earlier. That might have been a better shout. Because right now... Oh, let's see if we can actually get my point. Get some traps down for a sec. Obviously pull out the elites. I'm going to use car, actually. Wait. If I can damage him with car. Wait. It's not. All right. Go ahead and run. This ain't going good. <laughs> this ain't going good. Come here, Ash. Come on. Max out the possession, obviously. Go for the spins. Come on. Almost knocked him a point. Uh, yes. Just... No. Oh. Dodge his sideways. Oh, mate. We've got to hurry up because they're actually going to come over here. And his fear's gone straight down to the bottom there. Come on, get a point. That's it, that's it, that's it. Just keeping him off point. A bit laggy, we got this. That's it, that's it. All right, point's kind of reset here. Oh, mate, no. Get off point! Get off it! No, go back. Oh, my God, mate. You're just eating it, ain't you? You're just eating it! Just go down! Oh, mate. I don't know if I should just let go of the shield, it'll keep going. He's so good. If I let go, he's going to heal. That's why I can't let go of the basic. Got a shield in there. Oh, Hunter Rash is coming over for the clutch. He's going to save this point, mate. 
Mate, he's so close to going down. You see, if I had boss there, that would be the guarantee down. He's dropped gun. But I want to... I need the points. I need the levels. Because this is going to be a book game already. Yep, they've got this point. You see, now I've put a lot of points into my boss. When I should have been putting it into the basic and elites. But obviously now, because they've done a split cap, they've kind of messed up the plan. Alright. Jump scare. Go for the scream. Alright. Yep. Okay. Now, the split cap's worked in their favour. It's going to be a book game. I've had, I've had a few games like this where people have just straight away put me onto the dark ones. You've really just got to be careful because when you know you're going to get put onto book, you've got to think as far ahead as you can. What I mean by that is you need to make sure your basic portals and your elites are maxed out. So the cooldowns come off so you're actually able to destroy the book. Whereas I've kind of put all my points into the boss. So we need to delay as much time as we can or at least try and pick one of them off. Get a kill. Oh, mate. I just, yeah, I should have gone for the Warrior Ash. I just didn't think I'd get over there in time, but I would have. Right, this card gone. Very good. I'm not going to possess him. I'm just going to take the basic. Eight out of the ability. Maybe try and get somewhere with this. Oh, mate, they've got so many cards. Look at the map. So, it, this has worked in their favor, mate. You guys want to stand the card, do you? Look at that! Look at that car. Here we go. Wait. Wait. No. <laughs> no, for fuck's sake. You fuckers! You in there! I think this is Gran Trismo. That. Oh, man. Can't even get the jump scare in here. So now we need to delay as much time as we can, you know? We just need to get XP. Because I am under leveled by a bit. Obviously, putting the points into the boss wasn't the call. Painfully. Alright, so they've all kind of split up here. They've all got cars. I think these two are actually going to start point early. I think Arthur's just looking for maybe supplies. He might just be looking for pink F bottles to try and maximize his damage. Because that's the thing. Even though they've rushed both of them points, they might be lacking pink F. Let's take Warrior Ash for a sec. Oh, you show. Sure? Okay. Let's throw him over here. Okay. Who remembers when you could just throw him into the dark ones and they guarantee to take damage? I'm going to pull Boss here. Hopefully they don't take car. Please don't. Wait. Okay. Cheryl might go down here. Let's see. Go for another potion here. Lovely. I'm trying to keep him in range of the dark ones as well. Always try to fall back into the dark ones here. Oh, they've already got this, mate. There's, there's Solo in the boss. Just two of them. Right. Go back. Try and actually die near the dark ones. Just say take damage. I'm going to drop it there. Take the basics instead. Oh. Mate. Didn't actually mean to take it there. We go. You gotta remember that Cheryl's gonna have so many colas at this point that the only way to get anywhere is if she actually dies. That's it. Go for the spins, lovely. Alright, another point into the basics and elites from here on out. Don't need to put points in anything else. Oh mate, she's so low, she's gonna get the balance bar here. Wait. Right. Yep. She's gonna break the balance bar and just take a kill. Yep. Exactly. Oh, mate, that's painful. Not really too much I can do here. It's straight away going to be a book game. That's it. Possession for a sec. Um, I'm going to throw down another unit here. Take the possession on him. Oh, he dropped gun. Okay, that was quick. Alright. I'm going to place a basic elite trap portal here. So hopefully they spawn on book. Just guaranteed more mobs. Unless they walk into them early. Which I hope they don't. From here on out, really. Yeah, it's going to be a book game straight away here. I haven't got the points into the elites and the basics, so they've got a really high chance on winning on book. Really high chance. Let's wait for it. Okay. I'm going to hold on to the unit for a sec. I'm not going to drop this. Oh, he's almost dead anyway. All right. Let's go over the elites. I mean, from here on... Oh, mate. I meant to take the elite. All right. That's one mistake on book. Miss targeted. Not good. Like, every second counts on that book. Miss targeting. Taking the wrong unit. Not good. We're going to go for spin to win here. Get it up, boys! Get it up! There we go. Do as much damage as we can. Go for the pierce. Right. If you're out of units, you can always jump scare. Put everything on cooldown here. Wait. There we go. Good enough. 
the elite. Oh, mate, they're body blocking as well. There we go. All right. Gonna have a point into the elites there, but... No, I'm, I'm behind here. Really behind on book damage. Have a spin, have a spin. Let's go, let's go. It's not bad. It's not bad. Depends how good they are at clearing mobs. Go, have a spin. There we go. I mean, sometimes you can go for the pierce. Pierce does do really good damage, 138. On book. Oh, it's, it's close. It's like almost 50-50 here. But I'm not sure. I gotta go for Pierce, but this is why I don't use Pierce. Just miss targets. Oh, got a unit. Another elite. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Mate, the elites! The elites targeting is wonky, though. Right, drop that. Oh, this is... I don't know if I can get this. There we go. Go for another basic. He... I don't know if he's got his ability off cooldown. I hope he don't. Another spins. All right, drop. Do the unit in the map. There we go. Perfect. Oh! Right, we've got Cauldron again. Let's go. Oh, not a missed target! Come on. Heavy, heavy. Into Stomp. Heavy, heavy. Come on! Oh! No. That's game. Can't beat the damage from there. I'd like to use the boss. I've heard that you can actually use the boss's scream on book. I don't recommend it, though. If I had more points into the elites and basics, I think, when you miss target the book with the elites there, all of that damage matters. There's time wasted on book, I reckon. Even if you look at that back, you count how much time was wasted. I've not really done this after the game to kind of just review the mistakes. I think at this point, when they're starting this first objective up here, at the time, it seemed like the best idea because they're trying to get the more awkward point out of the way first. And I thought Arthur was alone. I feel like if I was a little bit quicker on the levels, maybe pull out boss a bit sooner. That is why the boss units are actually really good. Just for sort of 1v1 in or 1v2 in, you can normally pull them out and actually get it down. And especially when they're split capping like that, you know, that's what's going to skyrocket you. But because I pulled out boss on there, Cheryl came over. As soon as Cheryl's over, she's going to have so many colas. So it's like, unless you can get the down on the Cheryl right there and then, that point is going to be guaranteed because they've got so many heals. She already heals for a lot. And then you've got the Warrior Ash. So he was actually the better target here. If I went over to that point a lot sooner, I would have been able to delay that. And then I would have got a few more levels. I could have maxed out the elites and the basics a lot sooner. Maybe possibly the book game would have been better, but you never know. Like sometimes the games can be painful. It depends what demon you're picking, what survivors are picking, what map you get, how they're playing. If they're getting lucky with the ping F bottles. Quite a lot of RNG in the game, but definitely a lot of mistakes on my end. Always a fan of the sweaty games.